Grace and peace, I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera, and I just want to thank you for joining us for today's devotional. Amen. And let's get to it. Amen. How was your week? Did you win some battles? Did you lose some? Are you still in the still in the battle, still in the fray? And that means that you have the victory. Amen. Yeah, your eye might be black, or another one might be a little bloodshot. You might have sprained your knuckles, or, you know, your ankle or your feet, or, you know, spiritually speaking, but... We're still standing, amen? Yeah, we're still standing. Let's, let's continue this program, amen? Let's go on with a song that was written by a group called Mercy Me, amen? It sounds to me like they have a pretty good idea of what we're talking about. They say sometimes you win some, mm -hmm. sometimes you lose some. Sometimes you lose. Right now. You might be saying, right now. I'm losing bad, Lord. Help me. You stood on this stage night after night, reminding the broken it'll be all right. It's going to be all right, brother. Right now, oh, right now, I just can't. I just can't. It's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down. When everything is going good, right? Uh huh. What will I say? Right now. He can. With his mighty hand. And if he decides not to, my hope is that he alone, he alone, That's what we need. The size of a mustard seed. It's a good thing, huh? Because that's all we have sometimes, brothers. Come on. Fight the fight. Come on. It is well. With my soul. Yeah. When we find ourselves going through the trials and the tribulations, remember. If he does the him alone. Come on. I know it. If he says the word. And if he doesn't, praise be his name. He's been good all my days. Cling to him. Come what may, brothers and sisters. We know he's able. And we know that he can. So call on him. Put your trust in Jesus. That means believing in him for salvation. Believing in him for who he is. Believing in him for what he has done. Believing in him because he rose from the dead. Believing in him because he is the only one that can save us from sin, from death from all the things that we are experiencing. And even if he says no, we will put our trust in him and know that he knows what is best for us. Come on. Glory to God. It is well, brothers and sisters. Despite what we're going through, we sing. It is well, it is well, it is well with, with my soul. It's so hard to say that, right? 
we find ourselves going through our personal learning experiences, our learning curves, uh, the processes that the Lord uh, allows us to go through that at times leaves us just scratching our heads and trying to understand why, why. See, trusting in Jesus means more than, well, I'm just gonna put my trust in him and that's the end of that. Trusting in Jesus means many things, but of all things, it means committing and dedicating ourselves entirely. I said the word entirely to him. You see, when we are born again, we become followers of Christ. And as his followers, we put complete confidence in him and in his word. Complete confidence in him and in his word, amen? To trust in Jesus means to believe in everything he said and to accept his word as being true. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth. And guess what? And the truth will set you free. Hallelujah. In other words, the more we know and the more we abide in the words of Jesus, my brothers and sisters, the more we obey him, the more our confidence in him will grow as we experience total freedom in Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah, total freedom. So if his yes is yes and his no is no, we've learned to, we can rest in him and know that all will be well. I know this because he tells us, come to me, all you, hallelujah, who are weary and who are burdened. And I, not the pastor, him, Jesus, will give us rest. He tells us, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You will find rest in Christ Jesus, brother and sister. Yes, he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My burden is light. A yoke is a wooden harness that is used, just in case you don't know, to join the necks of two draft animals. And together, the beast can be more effectively and, and, and pull a heavy load. And in the time when Jesus spoke these words, farmers would often pair a young and experienced but vigorous animal with an older, weaker, but seasoned one. And the younger animal would learn from the more experienced one. And the older would benefit from the younger one's strength to help carry the load. Jesus is that older brother. Jesus is the one with the experience. Let him help you to carry your load. Rest is another way of expressing trust. It's a state of learning on and leaning on Jesus for the strength and, and learning from him, brothers and sisters. He shares the load as we journey together. And when we are tired and overburdened, we can come alongside Jesus and find rest for our souls. This way, we trust in Jesus by relying on Him and only on Him for everything in our lives, especially when we are weary and burdened down. Jesus is the believer's Sabbath rest. Hebrews 4, 1 through 11. He understands our weakness and knows we will struggle to trust in Him from time to time. And that is why the scripture says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your request to God. I'm Pastor Ralph Michael Rivera, and I want to encourage you to fight on. Fight your battle by putting your trust in Jesus.